Okay, so we'll do layers of the wall of the artery and of the vein. And some parts are similar. Okay, so we'll start from inside and we'll work our way out. Okay? The orange is a simple squamous epithelium that lines the vessel known as the endothelium. And you see it here and here. And there you can see the blood inside. Okay? The next layer, you can argue about what this is, but for our purposes, the layer always beneath the endothelium, okay, or covering the endothelium. In any case, epithelial cells is loose areola. So we have our epithelial cell, our loose areola, and these are glued together by the basement membrane. So we'll say loose areola connective tissue. Then we come to the white. This is known as the internal elastic membrane or internal elastic lamina, either way. It's made up of elastic protein fibers, gives stretch and flexibility to the vessel wall. Then we come to the muscle, smooth muscle tissue, thicker in the artery, thinner in the vein. Then you see in the artery, there's an external elastic lamina, external, internal, same idea, elastic protein fibers for stretch and flexibility. And then we come to the tunica, external. This is a, a dense, irregular connective tissue covering of the vein and of the artery. There's a blood vessel here. This is a vessel that supplies all the living cells of the layers. This is known as the vasovasorum. Vasovasorum. Here, with the vein cut open, you can see some of the venous valves. Uh, unidirectional valves, blood flows past, opens the valve, if it tries to go backwards, the valve closes.